First, buy a second alarm clock and set it half an hour early. Promise your boyfriend that you'll turn it off as soon as it rings and that you'll get ready really quietly. You can wear most reasonable clothes to an office, just nothing too revealing or provocative. If in doubt, put a cardigan over it. Smile. Smile on the street. Smile in the elevator. Accept whatever desk you are given, even if it's in the hallway. And uh, that's for you. Mm, I'm gonna need that in about an hour. The first day, bring something interesting to eat, although certainly nothing with a weird smell. Use post-its, all the different colors, and a speakerphone. Hi. Smile at your desk. Oh. <laughs> Smile in the hallway. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm, um... Breathe. Don't do anything that could draw attention. Your goal is to be anonymously indispensable, like a photocopier that never jams. Examples of attention-drawing activities include putting up posters of your boyfriend's concert, or getting loudly angry at your boyfriend on the phone. Well, I've been working a lot, and I don't... She's like, back up into the guy. Oh, that's right. In an office, you need to call your boyfriend your partner. She looks like a total slut. My partner always says that. <laughs> In a good way, I mean. Watch your step. Do not moan to your partner that you are imprisoned away from your real life, unmotivated and underappreciated. He'll only tell you to put away your canvases if you're not going to work on them. Your partner hates whiners. Always use words like advance and notice to sound official. It's five to six. I have some overtime for you. For overtime, I need advance notice. Well, it's a, I... Please, my boyfriend has a gig tonight. I really, I really need to go. It's really, really out of my control. It, it is urgent. There you go. Thanks. Breathe. If, because relationships are stressful and his band has been fighting, oh, sorry. your partner knocks you into the wall and leaves you a bruise, a cardigan will cover it. <sighs> Nobody likes a whiner. If your partner tells you he needs the space to stay out all night, try to understand. Then try to be sexier. But also explain that you feel lonely and worried when he does this.
then look sad, then go to bed alone. If you ever arrive late, don't say a thing, least of all, an excuse. Act like you thought the workday really started at 9.47, but don't eat lunch as penance. Your partner isn't the only one who hates whiners. If people ask you to do things that aren't part of your job, just do them and smile. Despite your best efforts, you still might fall down the stairs. That's natural. We are all hurtling through space at alarming speeds. To be prey of gravity is to be human. But if falling, do stop when you can. Rest. Don't be seduced by the free fall, the absence of responsibility from the complications of life, the new angles at which a broken leg can bend. It's okay. You all right? Can you move? Oh, oh, no, 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 okay, don't do <laughs> Wow, you really took a spill, huh? Yeah, you're gonna be just fine, all right? Don't move. <laughs> don't cry. Let it go, all of it. Wait. Wait and see what happens next. Breathe. Keep going forward. You have a job to do. You don't really have a choice anyway.